Okay guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at all the different extensions which I use in Visual Studio Code. Now I won't be taking a look at all the different file format extensions because the video would take way too long if I should go through all of them. But I will do one exception and that is CSV files because I have two really cool packages to show you. And the first one is Rainbow CSV and that's a really cool package for just highlighting a CSV file. And you can see down here what it does and essentially it just colorizes it. It doesn't really do too much more than that but it's just way more easy for your eyes to look if there's a missing value in a CSV file. So I would highly recommend this package here if you're going to be working with a lot of CSV files. Now the next extension we have here is Beautify, which if you don't know what Beautify is, essentially what it does is that it will just beautify your code. Now I don't know if this package is relevant anymore because I don't know if Visual Studio Code has it built in. Now the next extension we have here is Live Server. And if you have not heard about this package, then please go ahead and download it. If you should take one extension away from this video, it should be Live Server. It is such a useful extension and essentially you can just go ahead and host your HTML files. It will go ahead and make a server for it and it will even do live refreshing. So you can see down here in the video that there's being typed something and it will automatically be refreshed over in the website. And that's just so useful if you're going to be doing any HTML work in Visual Studio Code. Now the next extension we have here is an i18n extension. And essentially all it does is that it will automatically go ahead and add translations directly into your HTML code. So instead of seeing a key, then you will actually go ahead and see the value and you can even go ahead and change in between the different languages. And you can see it down here in this preview. So if you're gonna be doing any multi-language apps, then definitely go ahead and take a look at this extension. Now, if you don't know what I18n is, essentially all it is is a bunch of files with a bunch of different languages. And then you have a key which will point to those files. And whatever library is handling the translations will automatically switch out those files, which will then go ahead and change out the language. Okay, so the next extension we have here is XML Viewer. And again, it's another CSV viewer. And I know I've already covered one and that's also the one I would recommend. This one is just doing it in a bit more visual way. So if you want your CSV files to be visualized a bit more visually, then this extension might be better for you. But again, just go ahead and install both and you can try to switch in between them. Maybe sometimes you wanna use one and other times you wanna use the other one. And by the way, it also does TSV files, which are tab separated files. But let's Let's go ahead and take a look at the next package. And the next package we have here is Bracket Colorizer. And you can see it here in the pictures and probably guess it by the name. All it does is that it colorizes your brackets depending on the scope. And that's just really helpful if you have a lot of nested if statements, you can see where all of the different scopes ends. And you can also go ahead and see it down here in the pictures. And uh, it's probably one of those extensions which I take for granted because it's just such a useful feature. And you know, it's not really something you would think that that's an extension. I don't know why this isn't a default feature because I certainly think this is very useful. Now I'm using this for JavaScript. I don't think it works for any other languages, but you can go ahead and test it out and Google it yourself. Now the last package we have here is auto rename tag. And this is probably another extension which I take for granted as well. Essentially what it does is if you rename a tag, then it will also go ahead and rename the end of it. And you can see it here in the preview. So this was really useful if, if you have an H1 and you wanna change it to an H2, then all you go ahead and do is just rename the h1 to h2 and then we'll go ahead and rename both but guys that has been everything for the day and guys please comment down below if there's a package you think i should take a look at that i haven't covered on this channel then please go ahead and comment it down below and then i can go ahead and take a look at it so if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos i have included two videos right here and hopefully I see you in the next one